Hey, it's Kosher Tactic Live, and today I've got kind of a, it's not really a rebuttal, but it's kind of more of a history of, uh, of the warmies. You know, uh, Dor brought out his PCU in a previous video, and you know, I realized that, yeah, maybe you guys might be interested in uh, how we got to that point and what it was like before. So we'll get into that right after this. Hey guys, this video is brought to you today by CCW Safe. If you're going to carry a gun to protect you and your loved ones, you're going to need somebody to protect you in that inevitable second fight if you have to protect yourself. So CCW Safe, they're the best in the business. They will send out individual uh, investigators. They will do everything. You know, they've done this a bunch. You've never done this. So they'll be there as your legal protection. Um, Check them out in the description below. It might be the best thing you do today. Okay, so back when I started in the mid 80s, well, I was issued you know good old M65 field jacket. That was the, the the standard that we had. I don't have one of those anymore. I don't think. I think my daughters ran off with them. Um, but the liner, this was the cool liner. So this was our thermal protection was basically this one's got the sleeves cut off but you know they would have sleeves on them i didn't like a lot of bulk on my arms because you'd always wear something over this obviously for the most part okay so I, this is what we were issued initially in fact yeah this is seal team six issue <laughs> okay uh and then we moved on to various levels of this uh, this pile right so that was your thermal protection here. This is made, uh, this is Patagonia. Um, and there's a couple different, uh, and everything's a different brand because we just bought stuff off the shelf. Um, and for some reason, Team Six liked the color black. I don't know, maybe the supply guys thought we were ninjas or something, but uh, yeah, they, everything came in, in black. Of course you wore camouflage over it, so it wasn't that big a deal, but you know, so North Face made this kind of medium weight. Um, this again, I think is a North Face. This one was the coolest thing in the world when we got it because it's windstopper, you know. You can blow on it, it you can't blow through it. And dude, this was this was probably your 90% your solution for just about everything we did, um, you know, semi-operationally. And then you had your lighter weight stuff, you know, and it's all this kind of pile um, and most of this was, was made to go underneath your combat uniform and then some of it would go over the top. Now, as things got colder, you moved up to this. Again, black. This one's Mountain Hardware, just a puff jacket. Um, I like to have these fairly oversized. This is at least a, an XL, maybe 2XL, because you would have this. This, is, this compresses down fairly small. And if you needed it and you're out, you could throw that sucker on, uh, but you want to be able to put it on over your kit to keep you warm. All right. This has no, no wind stopping ability and there was uh, no rain stopping ability either. So you definitely need something over the top of this if it was going to be wet. And again, this is a green team issue for me. This is what we call the big black jacket. So big black here was uh, made by Wild Things, I think. And dude, this thing was like it was like we would joke it was like putting on a microwave oven because you throw this sucker on, you're you're warm like right now. Uh, it, it's got Gore-Tex on the outside to protect you from the rain. Okay, but yeah, this was you know obviously not operational, but. Boy, you know, you, you always take one of these with you to the fob so that, uh, you know, I, at night, if it got cold, you could climb into that bad boy. Um, now, the, the shell that we wore over most of those warmies was this one's just in uh, the, the desert cami. You know, you can pull it on over your boots. Honestly, this was mostly for admin type stuff. Uh, you might bring this with you if you knew it was going to be downpouring for a, a few days and then you have this 
fold it up nice and neat to be used when uh, when the rain came. And for the most part, I would have, uh, if it's cold, I'd have long johns on, made a poly pro, and most of them I think mine were blue. And then uh, you have your cami pants on underneath that. And then these you could put on if it was, uh, you know, rain or snow or whatever to keep that, uh, the, the moisture off. Yeah. Uh, the jacket for this one was Gore-Tex. It's heavyweight. But it came with this liner, which never really made much sense to me because if you've already got, you know, warmies on underneath it, you don't really need a liner. You need, just need the shell. Uh, but this is what everybody was getting back then. This is, you know, standard military issue. Um, had the, uh, the zip under the armpits. That was, that was key because when you're up and moving around, you'd sweat. So you wanted to open up as much as you could, you know, to cool yourself off so you don't, didn't sweat. Um, cause when, when you stop, uh, you start getting cold. So anyway, so that's, that was what we had then. Then as we started moving in, getting a little more fancy, um, moving forward, there was a couple different layers of this. This is what I have handy. Um, I believe this is this is all North Face. So you had your uh, old Union suit type of deal here, like old Farmer John, and put that sucker on. But again, this one was just for hanging around base. Rarely would you put this on, um, you know, to go out in the field. I mean, you got a big zipper on your ass so you can pull it down, and take crap if you need to. Uh, anyway, so yes, yeah, so this was like, there's like three different, uh, versions of this lighter. And this is, this was about the heaviest one that they had. And then here's your insulating layer, which was wind stopper. And again, so North face as a company logo, they always wanted to put like bright white on there at the time. And I, the guys uh, there at uh, command were able to talk them into subduing their uh, uh, their logo. So if you see something like this, that's, you know, original Team Six issued stuff, because I think we were the only ones that got that. But anyway, so this one would go on and then we'd have the shell. And again, here's the, the, the Farmer John bibs from North Face. Okay, so they got the subdued logo, but this one would be, honestly, I rarely use this just because uh, you want to keep your legs you know, uh, cooler, okay? Your, your core temperature, your, your, your torso is what you really want to keep uh, insulated along with your head. Uh, that's where most of your, uh, you know, when you get cold, it pulls, you know, the... Uh, the blood from your extremities to your core to keep your core warm. So if your core is warm, then you get more to pump to your extremities. So, you know, if your feet are cold, put a hat on. Uh, anyway, so this was the the cool Gore-Tex from, from North Face. Again, got the subdued logo. And this one has no liner in it at all, which was awesome because, you know, you could unzip your armpits, and just cool yourself off that way. Um, and keep in this one. See, you can go all the way down to, you know, basically bare armpits pretty much uh, with this to, to, you know, bleed off some of that heat while you're moving around. Okay, now this is still in that good old woodland pattern that everybody had. So, you know, you either had the camis or the woodland uh, you know, desert camis, woodland. And, um, you know, when you went into theater, everybody had the same stuff. So it was harder to pick out who was who. And then later on, as the patterns changed, you could know who was Air Force, who was Army, who was Navy. Okay, and, and the Marine Corps as well, right? Everybody had their own cami pattern. The bad guys, they're smart. They'll notice that. So the more things change, the more things stay the same. So we've gone back to now it's become multicam for everybody when you go down range. But, uh, you know, the various levels and stuff that uh, that Dor showed in his uh, video, that's 
that's coming into to the its close and then there'll be a new set that comes out but it's very versatile it will keep you warm and you know again this doesn't it's not going to stop bullets or anything but it's going to keep you warm and in the best fighting condition that's if you're in the military if you're not and you just like the outdoors it's uh, it's coming into winter time um, this is the kind of stuff uh, you want to think about that layering um, you know insulation and wind and water protection all right guys that's all i got for you coach out